Hey guys, PK here, and welcome to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make or how to use the move trigger. So, what you want to do? You want to set something to a certain group ID number. Oops. You're going to want to set a group of objects to a ID number. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the BG background and you want to select the move trigger. I mainly just put them underground where it doesn't affect gameplay whenever you're using like this so that it doesn't get in the way. But you can use them off ground too, it doesn't matter. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to select the move time. I'm just going to use 0 0.25. Touch trigger makes it so that you have to touch the thing in order for it to work. Like, your icon has to touch it. And spawn trigger, it technically just activates it with a spawn trigger. I'm not going to use either of those. So, yeah. So what you want to do is you want to set the target group ID to the group ID of the object. And the X moves it left and right. So each time each number moves it one tenth. So to move it one block, you have to put ten. And to move it one block in the opposite direction, put negative ten or something like that. Same with this, except if it's up and down. Up is ten, down is negative ten. So You can technically have something like that. And then if you want to move it back up at all, then you can just kind of keep it as the same group, but change it to moving up like that. Which I think is pretty cool. But please, oops, it froze. But I swear to God, whatever you do, do not. And I swear, do not do this. Do not do that. Because as you can tell, you can't see it. Anyway, guys, without further ado, goodbye, TPK.